Hello and welcome back to Talking Planning for another train review. We're now really close to completing the entire QR City train fleet with just two types left to go. So far, I've reviewed the EMU, ICE, IMU 100, SMU 220, SMU 260, the NGR and most recently the IMU 160. So for now, let's move into the subtypes and today we'll go and check out the IMU 120. With just four units produced, the IMU-120 is one of the hardest trains on the network to catch. Numbered 121 to 124, the IMU-120 series were delivered in 2001 and 2002 to provide extra capacity on the newly built airport line, which opened on the 5th of May 2001. To this day, only Brisbane and Sydney airports have direct rail connections, and Sydney's airport rail opened about one year before Brisbane's. Perth's airport rail link is due in another year's time or so. But anyway, let's get back to our trains. Over the years, the rollout of the NGR has moved the IMU 100, 120 and 160s away from airport trains and onto other lines. Today's IMU 120 journey was on board a Gympie North service, where they're often used in place of the Inner City Express, along with the IMU 100s. The key differences between the IMU 100 and the 120 are minor mechanical and electrical differences, but for passengers, they also have high back seats with a sculpted headrest. They are actually interoperable with the IMU 100, but in practice, this is seldom done as there are a few compatibility issues. The rest of the layout, on the other hand, is pretty similar to the older model, although there's one more difference with the intercarriage doors, which unlike the IMU 100, are squared off and do not have a curved frame to cover them. So whilst we're moving along, let's have a quick listen to these trains. There are lots of features I like about the IMU 120. They have good luggage racks above the seats, high back seats, a toilet, and a good mix of seating, which makes them practical. But, like almost every other older QR train, they're prone to damage, graffiti, and sadly, can become dumping grounds for passengers rubbish. The footage of this review comes from a couple of different journeys, but on each train, there were plenty of etchings into the glass dirty headrests and general bits of rubbish laying around. It really is a shame because I think that the IMU 100 and IMU 120 are genuinely some of the best trains on the network and even after nearly 20 years of service they're still a thoroughly modern and well suited train for the network. It's just a shame that the graffiti and grime are a few flies in a jar of otherwise pleasant ointment. But since I'm almost at my station, I think it's time to get ready to head off and let this great train continue its way up to Gympie North. So there's just one more train review to go on the QR Urban Fleet, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that video. So thank you for joining me on Talking Planning and I'll see you again soon.